Hi Stampers, welcome to the Love and Stamp Studio. It's another Maker Mornings with Meg video. I'll get there eventually. And I wanted to share some uh, tips with you about a squash album, which is a fantastic uh, book idea that you can do with, shocker of all surprises, six by six designer series paper. So why am I so excited about six by six designer series papers? Two reasons. And they are both in the Celebration mini catalog. So let's flip here to page, uh, da, 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 da. I flipped past it. So let's flip here to the page with the ombre papers on it. So um, these are the ombre papers that are available as one of the free Celebration items. And it is a pack of 48 sheets of six by six paper, which is a really great number of sheets. And they are super neutral. They make great card backgrounds, all kinds of good ideas for those. Um, but the other place that 6x6 paper is specifically mentioned here in this catalog is at the very end on the join page. So when um, you are becoming a new Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you purchase a starter kit and your starter kit includes $125 of whatever you want. You pay only $99 for it, uh, plus tax, shipping is free. And during celebration, so from now until the end of February, you get a bonus with your starter kit. And it is five packages of designer series paper. So you can kind of see this is a good sized stack of designer series paper. It's about $60 worth of paper. So um, I have one package that I have opened. There's one for each color family. This one is the Brights family. And I'm going to show you a really fun six by six paper project. Uh, that works great for this paper or your ombre paper. And I am going to tell you all of my favorite reasons uh, about, or all of my favorite reasons to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So uh, let's get you guys tuned down here and I will get you started. Let's see, sorry, my camera's a little bit off. Hello, very close to me. <laughs> there we go, that's a little bit better, okay. All right, so um, squash albums are basically you take a number, any number of folded papers and you stick them together to make like an accordion kind of shape. And I'm gonna show you the folding first. Um, really simple. I'm going to take my paper and fold it in half horizontally. You can do this with any size square. Um, in one of the video tutorials on my blog, um, I did it with six and a half inch squares. You can do 12 by 12 paper, um, however you want. So basically I've made a big plus side of my paper. And then I'm gonna flip it, I'm gonna fold one diagonal, okay? Um, you can use your bone folder to crease this, but I find it works pretty well without the super crease and it's a little bit um, softer on your paper. So, all right, so now what I've got is a plus sign and two corners and they just fold together like this to make kind of like that little cootie catcher kind of thing that uh, maybe you made in elementary school. And I am going to put a number of these together. So here's another one that I have one picture on already. Basically, I'm gonna stack them so that every other one faces down and then up. So see these points here? These two face down, these two face up, and they go across like this. Um, I can't remember which way I'm gonna stick this one. I think I might actually put this one on top, yes. Okay, so you can um, go up or down with these and you wanna use a strong adhesive. Seal Plus is great. My Seal Plus is not at my fingertips right now, so I'm gonna use my Seal. And you're going to line them up um, just so they don't overlap the scores, just butt up against the scores, okay? So now I have a little um, two, uh, two element um, squash album and you can add as many of these as you like okay they are a great way to put pictures you can put little greetings you can have little um, multiple messages kind of like on some of our strawberry cards that I'm going to show you later um, next week and then here is one that I've already started and I'm going to um, hook this one on here but you can see these two points go down so these two points come up these two go down and these two come up and let's, I had this together already with something else and then I needed to leave myself something to show you in our video this morning. Okay, so I'm gonna slide this back in here and again, um, butt up to the score lines or the fold lines, but don't overlap. So now when I start at the end and fold all up, I have this fun little squash album. So um, a great way to decorate these is, let's see, I didn't grab my ribbon ahead of time, so I'm gonna reach behind me. If you haven't seen the organization videos, 
um, that I have put together. The Love and Stamp Studio Tour started off with a number of organizational videos. So that would be a great um, place to go back. So I'm gonna grab, I got kind of cool colors. So I'm gonna go with this um, pool party ribbon and I'll show you kind of how I do the front here. So, um, because you are going to, your album's gonna wanna pop open on its own. So first of all, figure out where the front is, which for me is gonna be here and I want it to open this way. Okay, so to turn it around for you, <laughs> um, I'm not gonna put a strawberry on the front of this, but if I was going to put a strawberry on the front of it, it was handy, I would line it up like this. And you know what, I actually have a cute piece from another um, project here. Maybe I'll stick this on the front just for fun. Okay, so now um, what I can do is go ahead and leave myself a tail and I'm gonna wrap this around to the bottom and add my other tail down to the side and then grab my paper snips, trim the end of that ribbon. And when I do this, um, I'm going to trap my ribbon on the top here. So again, um, Seal Plus is an excellent choice for this. I'm going to um, pop this on the top. So adhesive in there and then I'm gonna add this here, okay? All right, so then I would take this and just tie a bow like this. Ta-da, wasn't that a great bow? And then, um, not finished, but the front of my album is going to open like this. So let me tell you a little bit about some of my favorite things, isn't that pretty, about being a demonstrator. So um, let's see, starting up here, this is my, um, uh, Stampin' Sisters group, so a group of Stampin' Up! demonstrators, and this was at a leadership training conference, which um, we had, I think this was in St. Louis, and Stampin' Up! gives us great opportunities to um, gather and to learn together and to um, be a team, and I do a lot of trainings for my team too, so that's kind of fun if you're interested in being um, a business demonstrator or if you're interested in being a hobby demonstrator. Um, lots of people sign up to be a demonstrator so that they can purchase from themselves at a discount, which is always a um, fun way to uh, get a discount on your on your products. So I'm gonna flip you guys up this way. All right, um, so then this picture right here is my friend Cindy. She lives in Hawaii, which is why we have our, um, our lays on. And this picture is to remind me of friendships that I make with other demonstrators or stampers all over the country or the world. And um, that is definitely something that a lot of people find with Stampin' Up! There's all kinds of reasons to become a demonstrator and no two people's reasons are exactly the same. So some of the reasons that I'm gonna give you um, might resonate with you and you think, oh my gosh, I would love to have that too. And some of them might be like, eh, not so much for me, but that's okay because Stampin' Up! gives us a lot of flexibility, so. All right, this one right here is my family uh, in Rome. This is actually um, the second, or the, this is the first time we went to Rome. Stampin' Up's taken us there twice. And if you would have asked me, uh, well, 18 years ago when I started doing this, if this was even a remote like thought in the back of my head, mm -mm, never, not even a dream. So um, you just never know what Stampin' Up will bring to you and to your family. It's a fun thing to give it a try, so. All right, this one here is a um, Stampin' Up! convention. So obviously not gathering right now, but when we do gather, we have a really good time together. You can see those are some big smiles on those faces. We get free product, um, we get sneak peeks of things, all kinds of cool demonstrator benefits. All right, um, coming along to this one here. Um, these are some of my friends, uh, Lindsay and Krista from uh, Edmonton. And uh, we also enjoy getting dressed up sometimes for, at our conventions, so that's a good picture of that. And that's my mom. She has been a demonstrator um, with me since uh, nearly the beginning. And she's a hobby demonstrator. She. Um, says that meeting her minimums is cheaper than playing golf. So this is her hobby uh, rather than playing golf. Um, but really it is fun. And hobby demonstrators often stay with Stampin' Up! for a long time because there is just a great community. Um, our Love and Stampfuls team does a lot of fun things together. We've been doing virtual things together. Um, it's just a nice chance to get together and, and um, share creativity and share ideas. So, 
Um, here are some other great Stampin' Up! friends, Kylie from Canada. Um, if you know her, I've done presentations for her team um, in Australia. Did I say Canada? She's Australian. Um, anyway, I've done presentations for her team in Australia, which is how I know that time zones are my kryptonite because I always seem to have the hardest time figuring out what time I'm supposed to present. And then this was actually um, in Utah. We went to Park City when we were there for one of our um, Stampin' Up! conventions. So fun things there. This is the Love What You Do. Um, that is our motto kind of as Stampin' Up! demonstrators. So love what you do and share what you love. Uh, and that is something that I truly believe in. We really have great opportunities to share what we love as crafters, as demonstrators. So um, if that part appeals to you, then you come to the right place. <laughs> um, this is a picture um, of me with Shelly Gardner. She's one of the co-founders of Stampin' Up! That was a few years ago. And this picture here is at a craft fair booth that I did um, uh, pre-pandemic, but this um, is to just let you know that you can do whatever you want if you, um, well, within reason, but you can do uh, lots of different things as a demonstrator. So if you are a person who wants to do craft shows, you can do craft shows. If you want to um, sell on consignment things that you've made in, in shops in your town or other places, you can do that. Um, if you want to have friends and get together and um, do stamping workshops, you can do that, but you don't have to do anything. There's no um, way that Stampin' Up! says, this is what you must do as a demonstrator. Um, the only thing you have to do to keep your demonstratorship is maintain your minimums, which is $300 per quarter. The quarter you sign up in is a freebie, so if you sign up during January or February, your first quarter actually doesn't start until April, um, April, May, June, and then your any orders you place as a demonstrator um, with yourself in January, February, after you sign up, um, January, February, and March count towards the first quarter. So it's kind of a no brainer. So, um, and if you don't meet your minimums, I was just telling somebody this the other day, there's no stamping police. They don't come and take your stamps away. Um, you don't have to return anything, anything like that. Um, you just, you get an extra month called pending to make up your difference. And then if you don't, then you're dropped as a demonstrator and you just come back to being a Love and Stamps customer. So I promise to still be your stamping friend. Um, all right, this is, oh, this was um, a founder circle uh, picture, I think. So this was the top 100 demonstrators in the company that year. So we got our picture all taken together. This is another me and my friend, Mary Ellen, um, at a convention. We Sometimes we get these name tags with our little award banners on them. And so we were celebrating some fun awards together that year. Um, okay, and that brings us to our empty spots. So let me turn you down here. Um, other things to love about being a demonstrator uh, are free product. And um, there are perks during celebration uh, where you can get free products. There are some perks at other times of the year. As a demonstrator, you can also be your own hostess. So you can get the hostess benefits. I'm sorting through pictures here for the one that I wanted. Um, and a lot of times, this is what I was gonna put in next, um, the prep for making your workshops can be really easy. So this is um, me when Paper Pumpkin, I think first came out, we got these fun pink paper pumpkin boxes at a um, Stampin' Up! demonstrator leader event. And uh, Paper Pumpkin can make life really easy for you as a demonstrator. So if you have subscribers, um, with Paper Pumpkin, then that helps you to meet your minimum. So, all right, let's see. I'll grab this one here. Um, we love to stamp together as demonstrators. So we uh, often come up with creative ideas to share. And I'm gonna put this picture right here, but the folding album is not gonna work. So what I'm gonna do is flip this to the back because I have a much easier time guessing a 90 degree angle. There we go. Um, when I'm not looking at the picture, and sure enough, that was pretty good. So I'm just gonna pop some um, seal plus here, or seal on the back, and add that to our album. Let's see what's gonna fit down here. Um, here is another of our uh, demonstrator trip um, convention pictures. We have uh, some fun green hats sometimes. So if you ever see pictures of me wearing like green hats or green Mickey ears, that is um, one of our Stampin' Up! event trips. So you don't have to wear a hat if you really don't want to, but it is fun because when there's, you know, seven or 8,000 demonstrators all together, it makes it a lot easier to find the people you're looking for when we're all wearing hats. 
Um, okay, let's see. I have um, another picture. This is my um, friends, Kim Pack and Julie Davison. And we were in California for um, sort of a leader's powwow kind of thing. And I think I'll put this one up here. Um, demonstrator uh, or demonstrators often get a lot of opportunities for um, leadership training. And that is one of the things that I really enjoyed about being a demonstrator. Um, and whether you are, you know, having a business or whether you're a hobby demonstrator, um, often you find that the things that we um, learn as demonstrators apply in other areas of our lives. Uh, I have a friend who um, was a demonstrator for a number of years. I need to trim this a little more. And she uh, <clears throat> said one time she went to a job interview and all of the questions that she answered in her job interview were things that she learned at our um, team group meetings. And so that is just uh, a kind of a fun thing, right? You just never know what's going to be useful to you. Um, all right, here is, what picture should we put next? Um, oh goodness, uh, this is a picture of a group of us um, who got together, um, we went and grabbed some a snack to eat after vacation stamping school, which is a training that we do together as a team. Um, we usually have a, a hundred or so um, people attend that. And I'm gonna, let's see, that one's not gonna fit very well down there. Maybe I'll stick it down here. Um, but it's something that we organize um, because we love to get together. And of the people who attend Vacation Stamping School, um, they're certainly not all um, uh, business demonstrators. There's a lot of people who are hobby demonstrators. So we do a lot of stamping um, and give ideas and presentations and, and projects and things like that. Um, and really, I uh, love getting together with people and, and visiting. So. Speaking of visiting, here's another picture that I'll add to that page, or that little bit there, um, of some other friends. We were getting together here, and it's a small, small world. Um, this is my friend Sarah, and her niece actually is a graduate student in vocal performance and sings in my choir at church. So I posted a picture one time of um, our, like a virtual choir video, and Sarah said, oh my gosh, what? How is... How do you know Lydia? So, too funny. All right, so I'm gonna pop this in there too. Um, and it's just the kind of connections and things that we have as demonstrators. It's just a whole community of um, fun, fun and neat connections that we have with each other, especially at a time when, when lots of us are looking for connections and not getting out the way we used to. Speaking of getting out, here is a Utah um, hiking trip. And you see that, that I uh, took with a few friends and we love to be outdoors and um, it's fun to connect with, with people with a common interest, right? So let's see, this one needs a corner cut off too. Make sure I cut off the correct corner. I'm pretty sure I almost cut the wrong one off there. Okay, so this, oh, I did cut the wrong one off. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess this is what I get for talking and, and cropping at the same time, right? Let's see, I'll just crop this picture down a little bit, so yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pop this on, this newly shrunken picture, which now fits here, and we'll just cut a little corner of the sky off. <laughs> anyway, um, you get the idea. So if you have any questions about um, what it is to be a demonstrator, um, the perks involved, uh, discount, pre-orders, early access to things, um, the demonstrator, community, um, all of these kinds of things are really great reasons to enjoy and to love being a demonstrator. I highly recommend you give it a try. You really have nothing to lose. Um, you can sign up by going to my website at lovenstamps.com uh, slash join my team with a dash between the words or just go to lovenstamps.com, look for the bar at the top and click on the part about joining my team. Um, the celebration special is good until the end of February, but of course, the sooner you sign up, the more time you have to order from yourself at a discount. Um, and we earn celebration items as demonstrators. We earn hostess benefits as demonstrators or stampin' rewards. Um, and if you have interest in, um, well, whatever your interest it is, is, interest is, I'm here to help you. I always tell people, when they're ready to get started, that my job as your, your upline, right? If you're signing up with me, um, my job is to help you get what you want out of being a demonstrator. So whether that is to order at a discount for just the next six months, whether it's to um, stamp with friends and have a little bit of extra money for next Christmas, to 
um, pay for a family vacation, to um, pay for music lessons, to replace your income and have a full-time business. There are demonstrators on my team who've earned trips, um, just like me, to places all over the country, um, all over the world. We've been to the Caribbean, we've been to Hawaii, we've been to the Mediterranean, um, we've been to Australia. Oh, well, not Australia yet. Um, <laughs> we've been to Thailand. Uh, you know, just some really neat opportunities. If that's what you want, then I can help you do that too. I've helped people before and I can do it again. Um, I would love to work with you on getting started. Uh, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Send me an email. Send me a message. Um, if you're confused about the starter kit and how to get going on that, um, I can help you with that too. Just uh, let me know what you're thinking. So I... I I um, would love to help you. So here is our little squash album, AKA um, all the reasons that I love being a demonstrator. And uh, I hope that you will have fun with this kind of project too. You can do any kind of pictures. It doesn't have to be about being a demonstrator. So um, have a wonderful day and thank you guys for listening today. And I'll be back tomorrow um, with another strawberry project. And let's see. Tomorrow's, pro tomorrow's project is a card that moves. Uh, so I think you're really gonna like that one a lot and I look forward to sharing it with you. So happy stamping guy, have, guys have a great day.